Mark Kuntz joins us now with a panel. Mark. Thank you, Andy. Joined now by Mark Miller, Mark Shine, and for the next couple minutes, Mark Matthews, otherwise known as Aaron Matthews, to keep this Mark theme going. And Mark Miller, we'll start with you. Lima senior in the postseason, fantastic story. Spartans, though, I think probably have to have a short memory and quickly forget what's happened the last two weeks as they've lost their last two games and are seeking answers as they take on Harrison on Friday night. Exactly. I, I, and I think uh, Coach Fell can get that done. You know, he's been around the block a little bit, been in the playoffs. I think the playoffs allow you a chance to keep the momentum of the good things you've done, but forget the bad things. You know, it's a whole new deal. It's like, you know, they're practicing different. The routine's different. There was nothing on the schedule for this. You didn't know who you were playing until yesterday or this morning when you woke up. So I think it's a good opportunity to break ties with what has happened if it's bad, keep the good things going, and, and have another season. Mark Shine, how big of a story is it for Lima Senior to get back into the postseason after what the community has been through, the, the lean years, to now get back into this playoffs? Yeah, I think it's a really big deal for them, Mark. Certainly that they, they want to play well, and I hope the fans come back out and support them. You know, it's been a great year, those first eight games. And sure, they've struggled a little bit the last two games with two very good programs who are in the playoffs as well. I hope the community comes back and supports the team this week. Division three, Aaron Matthews, Wapakoneta. Travis Moyer has had a ton of success over the years in the regular season. Postseason is where he needs to start really beefing up the resume, if you will. Wapakoneta back at home for next week. Chance for the Redskins to really shine in the postseason. Absolutely. And you look at Coach Moyer and what he's done now in, you know, in his overall body of work, an overall record of 128 and 28 in his tenure as a head coach at Bucyrus Winford and, of course, now in his first year at Wapakoneta. And you look down the road at these matchups, there's a very good possibility they could rematch with their week one opponent, Bell Fountain, in a regional final in a few weeks, you know, depending on how things go. But knowing Coach Moyer and what his team will do, they'll go one week at a time. And, you know, we had a nice piece there with Matt as well. And uh, we'll see how they come out. But this week they'll have uh, Oxford Talawanda coming up to uh, – Wapakoneta, and that's going to be an electric atmosphere. Before we go, Mark Miller, I want to get your thoughts on the Kenton Wildcats, what they've been able to do this year, changing their philosophy, a defense first team, yep. and now they're back in the postseason under Brent Fackler. Well, everybody focuses on Mike Mock leaving, but he took along with him a lot of stuff. You know, Matt Best left, left as the offensive coordinator. He took Ben, who was helping him on that offense. So a lot of changes for Brent Fackler against two great programs right out of the gate. Everybody 0-2 ready to change coaches again. Now look at them. They're rolling. They're very good. They've improved a lot throughout the course of the year with a lot of young players. All right. Thank you very much, Mark.